The overall goal of this procedure is to measure neutrophil firm adhesion using a flow chamber assay that allows for human neutrophil adhesion in the presence of shear stress. This is accomplished by first preparing a substrate of purified adhesion molecules or an endothelial cell surface such as human umbilical vein endothelial cells or HUVEX. The second step is to separate neutrophils from human peripheral blood using a two-layer FICOL centrifugation method. Next, the flow chamber is assembled to allow for the injection of the isolated human neutrophils under shear stress onto the substrate of either adhesion ligands or HUVEX. The final step is to record neutrophil adhesion events in the flow chamber, followed by careful quantitation of firm adhesion. Ultimately, the flow chamber assay is used to show firm adhesion of neutrophils toward purified adhesion molecules and a HUVEX surface. This method can help answer key questions in the autoimmune field, such as functional importance of genetic variations in adhesion molecules that are known to be associated with the development of autoimmunity. Genetic studies in patients with systemic lupus erythematosus have demonstrated strong association with variants in a beta-2 integrin, a protein involved in neutrophil firm adhesion. We developed this assay system to assess the functional consequences of genetic variation in this beta-2 integrin called MAC1 on firm adhesion. To prepare the culture dishes for use in the flow chamber, Add one milliliter of a fibronectin and...